Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to take the object and place it between the focal point and the, the mirror. Notice that this is a converging mirror. And first, we're going to place it at the halfway point between the focal point and the mirror. Then we're going to move it closer and closer and closer. Here, we move it just to 5 centimeters away. Notice that if the distance to the focal point is 20 centimeters, then this would be one quarter the distance. And in the third case, we're going to move it all the way to just within one centimeter away from the lens. So you can see that if this is 20 centimeters, we bring it very close to the lens. Where will the image appear? Now also notice that the observer has to be in front of the lens. There's no way you could place an observer behind the lens because then you wouldn't, I, I call it, keep calling it lens, I should call it mirror of course, these are converging mirrors. You cannot place the observer behind the mirror because then you would not see anything at all. All right, let's draw the rays. The first one is parallel to the optical axis. It reflects off the mirror through the focal point like this. The second one is through the focal point, but since you already passed the focal point with the object, you're going to draw a dashed line from the focal point to the tip of the object. Then you're going to continue like this, and then the ray will be reflected in this direction parallel to the optical axis. Now notice the observer sees these two rays coming from the mirror. The brain will project the direction outward like this, and it'll appear as if the rays came from the point where they converge and the brain will put the image right there. Now this is not a real image, this is called a virtual image because the image forms behind the mirror, which would of course technically be impossible, the rays can't get there, but the brain thinks that, oh look, it looks like they came from this particular location and that's where the image will be, will be placed. Now when we use the mathematical equation, let's find the distance to the image, S prime is equal to SF, so S would be 10 centimeters, F is still 20 centimeters, divided by 10 minus 20, which is 200, divided by minus 10, which is minus 20 centimeters. The minus means that it's a virtual image, it's behind the lens, a distance of 20 centimeters away. S prime equals 20 centimeters and is this distance right there. For the magnification, we use the same equation as before. The magnification equals minus S prime over S, which is minus a minus 20 divided by S, which is 10, which gives us a positive 2. A positive 2 means that it's an upright image, and 2 means that it's twice as large as the original object. So we have a larger image, twice the size of the object. So what happens now when we put the object closer to the, to the lens? Okay, again, we draw the image through the rays. The first ray will be par parallel to the optical axis. It reflects out of the mirror and goes to the focal point. The second ray will be drawn from the focal point to the tip of the object, continues to the mirror, and then will be parallel to the optical axis this way. Again, the observer sees the two rays coming towards him or her, projects that path backwards. This ray appears to be coming from back here. This ray appears to be coming from back here, where the two meet, where the two converge. That's where the image will be placed. So the image is right here, and the image distance, S prime, is right this distance right here. Notice what happened now. It looks like the image has gotten closer to the mirror, it's behind the mirror, but it's gotten closer and it looks like it's gotten smaller as well. Let's calculate it and see what we get. S prime equals SF over S minus F, which is equal to S, in this case would be 5, times 20 over 5 minus 20, which is 100 over minus 15. Let's see here, 15 goes into 100. Uh, 6, not quite 7, that would be minus 6.67 centimeters. So instead of being at minus 20 centimeters, it's now only about minus 6.7 centimeters behind the lens. So S prime equals a minus 6.67 centimeters. Minus again means it's virtual, it's behind the mirror, it's not a real image. The rays don't actually come from there, they appear to be coming from there. The observer sees the image there. Magnification. It's equal to minus S prime over S, 
which is minus times a minus 6.67 over s, which is 5. And so that would be equal to 1 and a third or 4 thirds. 4 thirds. So a little bit bigger than the object by about 33%. And finally, we're now going to move the object to within 1 centimeter of the mirror. Again, the first ray is drawn from the top of the object to the mirror. It reflects off the mirror through the focal point in this direction. The second ray is drawn as if he came from the focal point. So you draw a line from the focal point to the top of the mirror. Look that it's almost the same line. It hits the mirror and then reflects backwards in this direction, parallel to the optical axis. The observer here sees the two rays coming from this direction, projects them backwards, and realizes that it looks like they came from a point just behind the mirror. So the image will be placed right there, just behind the mirror. The object will be just in front of the mirror. Let's find the distance to the image. S prime equals SF over S minus F. S is now one centimeter. F is 20. S is 1 minus 20, which is 20 divided by a, a minus 19, which is almost, let's see, that would be almost 1, it would be a minus 1.05 centimeters. Which means that the object is about a centimeter, or in this case, exactly 1 centimeter in front of the, the mirror, and the image will be just over a centimeter on the other side of the mirror. Again, since it's behind the mirror, it'll be a virtual image, and that's indicated by the negative sign over here. The magnification is equal to minus s prime over s, minus a minus 1.05 over 1, which is equal to 1.05. Positive means that the image is upright. 1.05 means that it's 5% larger than the original object. So the image and the object are virtually the same size and virtually the same distance from the lens, or I should say the mirror, the object is right in front of the mirror, and the image is right behind the mirror, 1 centimeter versus 1.05 centimeter behind the mirror. In the limit, as the object gets closer and closer and closer and closer to the mirror, the image moves closer and closer and closer and closer to the mirror on the back side of the mirror. Therefore, it's a virtual image. And as the object approaches the mirror in the front, the image will approach the mirror from the back. And that's how you can see what happens to the image as the object gets closer and closer to the converging mirror. And that's how it's done.